Now I know these black spots behind me here that you can see may look like leaves, but they're actually rows of dead birds. Over a hundred of them have been found on just this property alone. You can see them just about everywhere you look, dozens upon dozens of dead starlings spread out across the neighborhood. You just look in front yards, you can see them under trees all over. Josh Digley lives on the Billings South Side and says it's the sheer number of dead birds that had him doing a double take. In the last five days, 27. Uh, it started Sunday night, I noticed there was quite a few that landed in the yard and some of them just never got up and left. Yeah, there's one right over here that's dead. Digley found four in just the short amount of time MTN was with him Thursday. And in his neighbor's yard across the street, they said over 100 dead birds have been found. It, it just seems so weird, the amount out of nowhere. So MTN started to investigate. It turns out the U.S. Department of Agriculture is responsible for the hundreds of dead starlings. The agency tells us they're using a chemical bait called DRC-1339 to reduce the number of birds in the area, saying in part, the large number of roosting starlings increases the potential of passing disease to livestock. DRC-1339 works very quickly, however, dead birds may be found days afterwards. In this instance, local governments were notified of this abatement project and the potential that dead birds may be seen. The USDA also says the dead birds do not pose a threat to humans or pets. For nobody to say anything about it, I think that's what's really weird. Digley says finding the birds has been a weird occurrence and he has been taking photos of each one he finds. They're usually peaceful. Some of them just land. They're standing on their feet. Um, I even have some pictures of some that their beaks aren't even down. They're just standing dead. The USDA would not tell us where the chemical salt is being fed to the starlings, but the EPA says the risk to humans and pets is minimal. But residents like Digley are skeptical. If it drops a bird out of the air and kills it, if your cat eats it, your cat's probably going to be at risk. Your dog's probably at risk. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.